Hey, hey. Hello, everybody. This is your boy Chris, back from Deciphering the Devil's Details. I'm doing a 360 video here, so I hope you enjoy it. We're back in St. John, New Brunswick, where I live. Just uh, going to show you, going to get back to my roots and uh, do an old-fashioned mud flood walk. So, first things first, I'm standing behind the old courthouse. It's uh, from 1820-something, 1820s. Uh, it's one of the only things to survive the old Great Fire. But I always wanted, I was always very interested in this kind of rock over here. Because as far as the mud flood is concerned, this seems like this is rock that's not that far off from mud. So, I don't know. It just kind of seemed weird, like it's all trembling, it's ready to pretty much go back into the mud that it was, right? And it looks like, I just think it's all dry, see it looks kind of brown in spots, like it still could have been not too far off from the mud flood. So I ask you, how long does rock really take to fossilize, right? It's like um, that whole thing about the, that cowboy boot they found in Texas or whatever, where uh, it was fossilized and like it was only from like the 1960s, right? So it makes me wonder how long this has really been rock <laughs> and if it's mud because like look how high up it is, right? It's, the level is crazy on it and there's a whole bunch of spots where they just kind of left it like this and didn't bother taking it away because it's kind of like the mud was already rock. But I don't know, I digress. Let's get back into the mud flood walk, okay? Yeah, this is the old courthouse, like an old building. Sorry about the wind, if there's a lot of wind. I don't know, I'm trying to survive now. 360 cam that I got. So, so it says there, in the adjacent burial ground lies Paul Bedell, the engineer who laid out this city founded by the loyalists. So that one dude laid out the whole city and how it was going to go down. So how we have all of our parks and our burial grounds and stuff. Anyways, I'll get across the street here so you can take a nice big look at this uh, this guy, this, uh, this building here. Pretty much from here on out, the sound was too unusable with the wind. But this old courthouse has a one-of-a-kind marble staircase in it that each step is actually supported by the one below it and there's no like center beam to it to hold it all up it's all just just stairs holding it up that goes up the first two two flights i believe it's a pretty crazy building that they got a pretty crazy staircase in there in an old crazy building in this old courthouse yeah there's a little bit of Antiquitech or something up there. I'm not too certain exactly what that is. Cameras or something. But I always loved the old copper spire on the lookout on top of the old courthouse. It's pretty cool. And then you got the old 1840 a fire engine museum. That was a pretty cool place. Uh, it was obviously a fire engine hall before it became the museum, but now it's just a museum. These old buildings are uh, pretty cool. I'm, I'm not too certain exactly what the date is on them. They look like they've been around. They, this part, that part of town, shouldn't have been touched by the fire. And this old, this crazy new building is the Irving Building. It has been built in the last couple of years. If you look on Google Maps, that's still like a big giant hole in the ground. Over on this side, there's King Square. I'm spending some time in there in the next little bit, showing showing you some things that they got popping off in there. Yeah, this is the Imperial Theater. This was built in like 1913 and around there. Yeah, me and my girl went there last night. Watched the concert there, the Motown concert. It was sick. It was good. It was pretty awesome. And then this is the Admiral Beatty. This was uh, built in like uh, 
1925 or something. Uh, there's the uh, Adontis or Apollo, whichever uh, war god you want to take. But yeah, it's a really uh, crazy old building. Pretty nice inside. It used to be an old like, hotel. And a great fire, it burnt down, and then they built this one. Now it's apartments. Yeah, there's Adontis again. Or Apollo, whoever you want to pick. And then we're going to go across the street into this uh, little alleyway that nobody ever walks down. But this is where they have some wicked old mud flood windows. Well, bam. Look at that. What's that doing there? Who's looking out that little crack there? And it's right in line with that window. And there's another one just right beside it. What happened? Did they build these windows and then decide to just concrete over the driveway and just build it all up? But it's all level, so... Who knows? And there's uh, some more windows here in the back. Let me just squeeze around back here. And we got some more crazy old windows, mud flood windows, right, right underneath the other windows. You know, right, right, right where you'd expect the next floor would be. And then this is the Trinity Church. It was uh, built after the Great Fire to replace the old Trinity Church that was that stood there, but. It's got the sweet mud flood window right there, below the next window. And a little off, off skew, but it's still right there. But it's built into that crazy old big giant foundation of, I believe, was the old, the foundation of the old building. The old, the old Trinity Church. Which had like big old pillars on it and it was real Roman looking. And then we'll take you, this is, so this is the back part of it. I'm not even certain, this is like a back little part of the church. And they have the, the mud flood windows there that they just kind of put other, like, ventilation and pipe work out, out of. So yeah, this is all built in, uh, 1878, after the Great Fire of 1877. So yeah, they built this all in one year. Of course, like they do... You know, all these cities, they just fly up and after they get burnt down, they just build all these buildings back so quickly. So now we're going to go tra travel around to the front part of it, where the actual front part of the church is. Front entrance, main entrance. Just amazing brickwork. And now you can see some of the windows on the bottom there that are being pla blocked up. Yeah, it was such a crazy windy day. I tried to film this thing twice and the wind just kept killing it. So I said, screw it, I'm just going to dub over it. We're going to come around to the front of the church. Oh yeah, there's a mud flood window right there. A couple of them, I guess. Yeah, this old church is pretty cool, man. The old Trinity Church, or I guess the Trinity Church, the old one burnt down. Yeah, wicked. And that fish on the top there is a salmon, and it's supposed to supposed to be six feet long. And then here's yeah, another entrance to the church. And then we got all these weirdly blocked up windows. And then, so, in St. John we have these white crosses underneath these, the windows there. And that symbolizes uh, to the firemen that there are, that those are bedrooms and uh, that there are occupants in those rooms and that they need to 
go to those rooms first before to save the people instead of the uh, you know just to make sure that the people are out and all that yeah apparently they're just a warning for the the firefighters I'm gonna walk take a walk over here and check out the old uh, Masonic temple the fuck Mason temple I don't know if you can read uh, yeah see the level change there in the back it's so crazy I'll show you in a minute but I don't know if you can read Latin but wherever the entrance is there's a nice little crazy shield up on the top it's a kind of old and worn down I don't think they really use that that entrance anymore that's the old one but look at the crazy mud flood situation back here they got these big giant doors that you'd take what some kind of crazy heavy big ass materials and or, or big ass carts and stuff out of but the wall the, the mud flood ground is just right there you can't go nowhere it's all underneath the, that level so why why would they build those big giant doors to take stuff out but you can only take it out, out a few feet you know what i'm saying and we're gonna take a scoot over here and they're actually ripping apart one of the walls it's under construction so i thought it'd be uh pretty cool to go check that out and show you how actually thick just this wall is like i, I wouldn't be surprised if that was an old building at some point and now it's they, we just use it as a wall yeah there's no nothing cool in there i, I, I thought i tried and yeah man that old church is cool and this 360 cam is pretty wild you can do a lot of crazy different things with it yeah, the old blocks are taken out from the uh, the random stacked blocks that they take out of that old fence. I'm gonna go back over to the uh, Fuck Mason temple. The old brickwork in, in the city. Just so nice. So beautiful. Yeah, so the fuck Mason Temple. Who knows what kind of horribleness is going on behind those doors. Anyways, I'll take you across the street to get a better picture of that, that building. I want to show you another wall. Another mud flood, some more evidence, I guess I should say, of the mud flood that I showed you in my second or third video, but I'm just gonna rehatch it to you again. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. I'm hoping I can make more videos. Love life uptown, right? So that's that's a that is a fence on top of the street. Just street level. There's the fuck Mason temple. Those big giant arches. Look how crazy that is. And then more uh, like mud flood windows on the sides here. They kind of just manipulate the bottoms of them to make them look like they just are different length windows. But who knows? It looks like they go all the way down, some of them. And then again, they got these ones weirdly blocked up. I'm gonna walk around the corner. We got some pretty cool murals here in St. John. Oh, under the sea. I hope I don't get copyrighted for that. <laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, and then yeah, so there's, this is that the fence that was at street level. It's now dropped down in the back and there is windows. There's mud flood windows underneath street level a bunch of them not just one not just a random fluke it's not just a random like sewer thing but there's three of them where windows would be across under street level so what came first did those window were those windows there and they were windows full windows and the street level got mud flooded up to the top and now they're not windows no more or did they build the streets up and just not tell anybody and now they're using the buildings to hold up 
the streets. It's pretty wild, right? So, like, I tell you, I'm, I'm just wondering, like, what came first, man? It's kind of like they just don't tell tell us that they've raised up the streets in this in the in this town. We're gonna jump across. I think there's uh, some crazy little windows that they just blocked up here. Block up the whole windows. Not using them. Why did you put them in the first place? Yeah, this is actually really kind of a steep hill I was uh I really wish I could do this on my like my roller blades roller skates just cruise through town but I'd damn near kill myself going down some of these hills and you know what guys I'm happy you're all here I'm happy to see you here you know I'm glad you can share this moment walking through my city with me this is an old bank I believe I'm not sure what is up with this building why there's no windows on it and it just got that weird big giant arch window that's it's I have, I have no idea what that building is but this one's a bank but on the other side here down below where people aren't worth looking bam more mud flood windows ain't that some shit like why just block them up why have them to just to block them up you know it's the old diamond jeweler place or something back in the day yeah I'll probably I'll, I'll just take you over quick time here and I'll check out the front of this crazy old bank building a lion and a horse holding the plaque Crazy little emblem above the the building of the above the door, big old arches. Look at that, man! They're just huge. Who are these windows really for? You know, who are these doors or some of these doors for? We have to build them back down for us for people our size. Yeah, we're gonna cruise down. We're gonna go down to. The center beam place. It's like uh, you walk inside of it and you can tell that it's really like the old bricks and stuff going through. The big old doorway that we just came through. Just beautiful brickwork in here. It's even got uh, over in the corner there. You turn. It's got the old elevator switch to it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty fucking wild, man. But yeah, I'm gonna take you down kind of into the... I don't know, down into the old... Uh, over into this old spot here where you can see like the really old foundation, the old coarse stone and the old what was there before the brick and like that that office building has got some crazy stuff up in there everything was just painted down this hallway and there's nowhere to go but yeah just like the old old foundation underneath the the brickwork I, I'm assuming this is probably I think this is part of the town that uh, burnt down during the great fire so who knows what was actually here before the great fire I'm gonna take you back here. On the left, you can kind of see some coarse rock too, that old foundation. But on this side, on the right side, you have the uh, the whole level drops down and there's doors, complete doors, old wooden beam that goes across the top of the found, top of that window frame. It's like, that was originally there. I got locked out of that building, so I had to turn back around. And there's the old coarse stone underneath the uh, old brick there. So this whole spot is supposedly burnt down. 
and rebuilt all like within a year or two after the Great Fire of 1877. And then you walk down here and on the left, down there, they try to hide the brick going down into the ground with like a concrete fascia or cement fascia. And yeah, it's just all falling, falling off now because it's, it's old and you can just see how far down the brick goes. So who knows how many levels are down below, you know, down below that the the found the level of the ground now. There's some cool stuff down this way here. I'll try and get you out and walk out a little further so you can see the old bricks, brick buildings or stuff are all just so beautiful in this town. Some of the buildings have the old electrical hookups to them on the outside you can kind of see uh, but the brickwork that they have on some of the the foundations here like look at that shit man like that's that's art man that's beautiful I wish I had it showing that a little bit better <laughs> yeah kind of just breezed by it but and then this is this is a huge corner here this is the old city hall on, a, on that corner and that was built right after the great fire supposedly this is the old post office which was built right after the great fire supposedly and this is uh, Chubb's Corner. And on the top of Chubb's Corner, you can see there's all kinds of, they call them grotesque, grotestures, grotestures. They're like uh, gargoyle kind of things, faces, that are supposed to symbolize people of the time that were in political power. So there's a lot of like funny looking faces. And there's some other weird ones, there's a zombie. I don't know, there's some, there's some weird things, but they kind of, they're said to have represented people at that time, so people hate hate that building. And then, yeah, there's the old foundation on this side of the post office. Look at that, there's a, oh, looks like there's a, a doorway underneath there. And the old window's all blocked up, or cemented up. Just, just crazy, you know? Like these old, like the way the, the level is, it just seems like something happened. So I've been told by a contractor that that building, that old post office has some crazy old uh, windows on the other side still. And I'm trying to get into it, but uh, I have to hook up with them and Get him to take me there one time, and I'll show it to you guys. Here is the other side of Chubb's Corner. And like, yeah, man, look at this. Like, this is almost like 150 years old or something. And it's like... Just amazing brickwork. Or amazing uh, stonework, I guess. Or cement work or whatever. Sculptures, I don't know. Like, move real quick here. But yeah, like, these are just wild little animals and shit that they build, like. Just for the sake of the be video not being, you know, super, super long, I'm trying to go real quick. But if you guys want to see any more of these video, or uh, any more of these buildings in depth, put please put it in the comments and let, uh, let me know what you want to go see. And I will, uh point out more of them and here that's the old uh, post office like look how crazy that is man i love that building it's so beautiful and so when we look at the front of this place but yeah the sculptures there's a dantus or apollo again in the middle 
And then there's the indigenous people on either side, looking very unhappy. Well, uh, I don't know if the, the one on the right's the indigenous person either, but... It looks like it might... I don't know. But the one, Apollo in the middle here, he's got his staff with the snake around it, and it's going downward. It's a real interesting little thing. I have to get a better photo and show it to you guys. But it's like his staff with the snake is like going downward. Like, and then that Indian dude is just, is very unhappy. I don't know what they're trying to symbolize here, but it's a cool looking building. And then, of course, the old city hall built around the same time, probably using the same brick it looked like, and they have their mud flood windows, they put up different things, and then, yeah, they stone, or uh, cage those ones up, cage those windows up, and then on this side is the Bank of New Brunswick, yeah, this one was built right after the Great Fire too, as well, they say, and, um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. So this building and the post office and city hall and then the old customs house that's way down the street all were attached with tunnels, they say, is the story, is how the story goes. Because they were doing construction in the early 2000s and they came across like a six foot tunnel that went from all of these ones. And then when it came across to this building, which is the Bank of Nova Scotia at the time that it was that it was built and it was in use, it's now the Palatine building. And uh, I guess it's, uh, I think it's a, a art dealer now, but it's got like wicked old, the same old kind of sculptures that were made probably by the same dude that did the other Chubb's Corner because that dude did every place in this whole province all these little famous sculptures that they have they are pretty much all done by this dude at that time it was it's it's insane how much this guy did or how much they blame on this guy or put on this guy yeah crazy old faces spitting out money and shit yeah and then there's a yeah it looks like a, a dark dark-faced fellow there <laughs> and he did not look very happy again right but yeah, so that those two buildings, the city hall that's on the far right, uh, that building in the middle, kind of there, the Bank of Nova Scotia, and then the old customs house way down the street were all attached with a supposed tunnel. This is the newer old post office. Oh yeah, so the custom house is way down that street there. It's at that where that building or that hole is there we'll show you that's it's what I put in my first video and uh, we're gonna go back there and I'm gonna show it to you again and explain to you some more things but this is the old old post office that's not as old as the old old post office whoa we're spinning but yeah just what a beautiful building that is eh? giant too yeah so it's, uh, it's a post office <laughs> the post office had just an amazing amount of money to spend on these incredible buildings that they built throughout the whole country and so now we're standing above uh, this whole drop down is held up by a building in my one of my my first my second or third video I talked about how there was a wall there that or a building there that they took out and uh, they had to replace the fascia of that whole wall for and they bricked it all they faced it all up so these uh, yeah these are all old, old buildings that were all replaced during the great fire or after the great fire Another beautiful mural about the Irish coming to town. 
there's been, there was a, a lot of Irish came to St. John after the or during the, the Great Famine. Yeah, it was a big thing. We love the Irish here. <laughs> and so this is the customs house now. But we're going to go see the old customs house or what's left of the old customs house. I showed you to uh, my first video. Yeah, that's the new monstrosity that they have now. And this is that wicked old high school. St. John High. Just wicked. Just a cool, cool building, man. I would have loved to have gone to this school. Maybe. I don't know how it is inside, though. But yeah, there's the different stages of it's going through. Start off uh, as an old little building, and then it moved over here, and now it's this big, giant building. They say about 1932 it was built. That's the stone. That's what they have on that stone there. Oh, man, it's so hard to see. Should have went down during the... The evening instead of in the morning. Yeah, just a giant big old building. And these staircases, like, I wonder how many kids have fallen down them in the winter. Like, all this shit. We get so much snow and, like, ice and rain and slush and crap. Like, Man, I wonder how many kids <laughs> kill themselves falling down that thing. Yeah, and there's the old customs house hole. Oh, we're gonna jump on it. This was an old building that they literally just took out, I don't know, over the, the fall? In September, maybe? It's, you can still see the brick on top. And this building is... A, it's a newer... It's built within the last couple, a few decades, two, three decades. So it's not really all that old, but they built it in like the mud flood style with this crazy, with this crazy drop down. But it makes it look, yeah, like, like it was, <laughs> like, like it's part of the mud flood, you know? So we're going to skip over to the other side here. Yeah, and they got these old buildings that are just built on this weird level. Like this, again, this is some more of that old stone slash mud slash what I'm not really sure what it is, what it's trying to be. It's like it's like it's it's stone, it's hard as rock, but it looks and seems like mud. It looked like it was flowing at one point. So I just wonder how long has this been mud for, you know? Like, did they just decide, screw it, we're not gonna move it, and it just hardened over time? They built all these houses over time, uh, on top of it, and just said, you know, whatever's underneath is whatever's underneath, and there's just random foundations, like, holding up spots where there's mud, and they just build on top of these things, old foundations of buildings everywhere. Where did all this stone and, and mud come from? Like this, or this stone-like mud come from? And yeah, we have we have our own iron rod building too. Like New York, it's like this weird triangle building. I don't know, it's just ours is not as fancy. <laughs> These are called the Three Sisters. These lights, they're supposed to help bring the boats coming in to the harbor supposed to help guide them in if you can see two of them you're doing bad you can see one of them you're doing bad you can see all three you're on target to come into the harbor and do your thing but these have been around for so long like they've been in the exact same spot like almost since the founding of the city kind of thing like look at them they're they're there on the ground when everything was still wood 
and the, everything was supposedly burnt down. All the wood structures were all supposedly burnt down. They built all the stone structures after, or brick structures after. But yeah, none of those buildings aren't even around it anymore. And it's still sitting in the same spot, supposedly. <laughs> So we're going to cruise down to this Celtic cross and this is to commemorate the all the Irish people that came to St. John after the Great Fire. Uh, sorry, not after the Great Fire, during the Great Famine. I'm losing my words, mixing my words up, mixing my devastations up. They came here and they were, they had cholera and they had tuberculosis and all these outbreaks. So they threw them onto that quarantine island. There's a matching cross that's out there that's even bigger. That's there to commemorate this, the same Irish people that all passed because that was a quarantine island. There's thousands, supposed to be thousands of bodies out there. Supposedly. I'm going to go out there in one of my next videos and uh, show you around, show you some of the old war stuff out there. But it's it's a pretty crazy little island. That little quarantine island. Some interesting stories. This is the cruise terminal. So when you come in, if you bring come on a cruise to St. John, this is where you come into. They actually drop you off, literally. Almost, there's two cruise terminals. And if you get lucky to be put in the other one, it's just up to our right here they drop you right in front of the mud flood customs house wall like it's pretty crazy like i i, I just don't understand I, I don't kind of understand how people just walk by it it's like there's windows just right there you know like i'll show you but yeah there's just people walking beside me so i didn't want to film them where the cruise terminals come in. There's usually these big giant boats here in the summer. I was just unlucky enough to do this in the fall. So that's the Marco Polo. It's a super fast sailing ship that we built here in St. John, actually closer to my house. Um, I'm probably going to do a video on that little area because there's some cool little uh, information about that area. But the Marco Polo is a pretty cool boat it was one of the fastest boats around for uh, for a while and here's a, that building that they just removed the wall that they have left there and they've just kind of parged it up with the cement and made it you know not look like the bricks that were holding the whole wall up and then they basically had a hole there so then they had to put it all fill it all back up with dirt because they don't know what they're going to do with the building that they just took down for some reason probably dilapidated and that needed to come down this is the old customs house look at that we walked across the top of this place just a couple minutes ago and now we're two a level and a half down yeah sorry i just had someone come to the door so i lost my train of thought but look at this it's like just a big window a big giant window like, who's looking out this window? It's so tall, so big. But it's under a, a story and a half, if not two stories, of mud or dirt and concrete of and road above it. And it's holding all this up, this building. And we're standing now inside the building. Like, look at this built. This window is even bigger. It goes a little bit more. It's a little bit more like human hip height to look out, but or our size human hip height to look out. There's no door or nothing. It's just a big open, just a big wall, right, of windows that used to look out that way at something, and now they don't. They just look at dirt. So. When did they fill all this up? And right, that's the that's that high school all the way above it. Like we walked down the side of the road that that was on. Like 
this building here is just so crazy for me like i was questioning the mud flood and all that stuff and then i seen this and i was like oh my goodness i have to make videos because what the hell like what is going on here right so we're gonna walk across the street whoa we're small worlding oh shit maybe maybe there's a curve maybe the earth ain't flat after all <laughs> uh, who really knows Anyway, so here's a little sign and they show the old customs house and right that's what I thought was that foundation we came walking down around that street and like all the mud flood windows on the side and that's where we came walking down and like we went in that side and we were standing in it but those old big old blocks are really that old customs house which is the customs house that was there before that beautiful this beautiful one this beautiful one is all made out of concrete this one there is all made out of concrete that one up there is all made out of block that big giant block that is still there right i'll show you better pictures of it i'll i'll put it in but like it's just mind-blowing that it's actually the first one still there and they actually use those big giant blocks and just brick like just built up right on top of those big giant blocks but now they just sit there and do nothing when they can make another big giant beautiful building on top of those blocks if they wanted to and so this is a container village that we set up for uh the summer it was a cool little festival they had all concerts in there they won a couple crazy awards some like a uh, Canada wide tourism award for like innovation of using recycled stuff and things. I, I guess I, I'm not 100% certain, but it was wicked. It was cool. The, all the concerts were awesome. Went and saw Big Wreck. I wish I went and saw Chaos. That would, that would have been cool. <laughs> but yeah, Big Wreck was cool. <laughs> And this is another spot in one of my other videos. This was a building that they took out and the wall was gonna fall down. You know what I'm saying? Well, love you guys. There you go. Appreciate Back you, John. All for all you do, all you guys commenting and subscribing. If you wanna know more about what happened to me, uh, I might be coming up in a couple of videos. I might get the, the testicular fortitude to tell you guys all about it um but uh, i want to be back i want to do more videos be you know more into things and yeah i guess i uh, will just talk to y'all a little later love y'all and uh, be safe